everyone and welcome to SheGo's YouTube channel. In this video I will show you how to share your Google Sheets data via Gmail automatically with SheetGo. The SheGo web app discovers any dynamic data within your spreadsheet and then automatically sends it to your desired recipients via Gmail. I now have the SheGo web app open where I've created a workflow already to show you how it works. In this use case, I have my invoices inside the spreadsheet and I will send them to my clients via Gmail. But first, of course, I create the invoices in Google Docs and PDF, also with SheetGo. Let me open my spreadsheet and show you how it looks like. There we go. As you can see right here, I have a list of all my invoices. So we have our invoice number, the date they're due, and of course my client email addresses. And based on this column, Shiko will send the correct invoice with all the items and their price to the client. Now let me show you how to set up this workflow. Inside Shiko, when you go to workspace and you click to create a new workflow, you enter our explore page where you can find all the different types of connections, our customized workflow solutions and all other ideas to help you get started with SheetGo. But let me get started from scratch. I'm going to simply start creating a new connection. There we go. We've created our workflow already. And when creating a workflow with SheetGo, you start by selecting your source. I will rename this connection. I will call it invoices because I want to start from a single file for my spreadsheet that has my invoices so I will select it from my drive right here there we go I've selected my source file and the correct tab so I can move on to the next step so now we can process our data what do you want to do next I first want to generate the invoices itself so I'm going to do that in Google Docs based on a template for SheGo to create this Google Docs, we have to select a Google Docs template that we've already created. So let me find it in my drive. There we go. We've selected the invoice generator document right here. Let me show you how this looks like. There we go. This is a simple invoice template that I've added inside Google Docs. And as you can see, SheGo uses smart tags, the invoice for the invoice number, the invoice date, client name, and these all come from inside the spreadsheet. So SheGo will recognize these items in between smart tags and then simply replace them with the correct data per invoice and per client. You can customize this the invoice document a bit, add your company logo and name, of course, for them to send out to your clients. Let me get back to the workflow and continue the connection. We're going to call this SheGo invoice, for example. And then you can select where inside your drive you want to save these invoices, these invoice documents. You can select an existing folder or you can let SheGo create a new one for you. I'll just create a new one, SheGo invoices. And let's click next. Of course, to send out these in invoices via Gmail to your clients, it's best to save these assets as PDF. So that's what we're going to do. There we go. We click next and now we enter our email section. We want to share this data, of course, with our clients. So we've selected our source file, our invoices spreadsheet. We will generate a document based on a document template and then save it as PDF before it gets sent out via Gmail. In this section, there are two options. So you can share the files and send access links. So that means that Shiko will share the Google Docs and the PDF files with these recipients. And then here you can set, select their edit access, edit or viewing access. But in this use case, it's not the best option. We'd like to send these files as attachments, of course. Then you select the recipients. You can use custom recipients. So you simply type here the email addresses of the people you want to send this data to but that will be more for a bulk email of course so we're gonna get the data dynamically from a column and we're selecting client email address column D so that your client only receives their personal invoice of course you can change the email subject right here and you can also use the smart tags here so I just shared file name with you using SheGo. You can even add the invoice number, for example, the invoice due date so that 
people know exactly when they need to pay this invoice for example if it's very urgent you should put this in the front there we go and we're done editing and we've now set up our workflow so we're gonna finish and save to create this invoice generation that's it we've set up our workflow as you can see right here Shigo will generate the documents and the PDFs of these invoices in your spreadsheets and then send them via Gmail to the client's email addresses automatically. Let's give this workflow a correct name. So let's go to overview. Here you have all the information that you need to know about the workflow. We're going to name this invoice generation. Here you see who has access to the files and you can share the workflow with your colleagues how many connections and files there are in this workflow, and of course your update schedule. So when you've run the workflow, and of course how to, here you automate the schedule as well. If I click to open the workflow, we go back into our overview, where you can add some workflow notes. Again, share it with the people who might want to have access to this invoice generation workflow as well. Add some extra connections to include other documents, other files that you might have that are useful to generate invoices. So that's one way to share data from Google Sheets to Gmail. But let me show you how to directly send data from the spreadsheet to your Gmail as well. Let me open the spreadsheet. For example, if I add a column right here, let's call it invoice status. And we add the option it's paid, it's overdue or open, for example, let's add this right here. This one's paid, this one's, these ones are overdue, and these ones are still open. Then we can also set up the system to send an email to any person that might have an overdue invoice so that it's not paid yet. Just to remind them, please pay your invoice. Let me show you how to do that. I'll create an extra connection right here. Again, we need to start from our source, which is our invoice spreadsheet. We're calling this in this connection overdue invoices. I've selected my source file right here. We're going to click next. And here we're going to filter the data because we want to filter only the, the invoices that are overdue. So we're going to filter based on a condition of a column. Data matches one condition. It's column invoice status, of course. And the criteria is text contains overdue done click on next and we're going to select here to generate an email based on this specific notification so we're going to again get the email addresses from a column we're getting them from the client email address column e as a subject line of course we want to generate a bit of urgency so we're going to select the invoice status which will say overdue, please remember, please remember to process and then the invoice number, for example. There we go. Then as the email subject, again, you can use these smart tags. So it's super useful. Hi, client name. So you will, will get automatically generate the client name. Hi, I am sending you this email because invoice number with due date with due date invoice due date has not been paid yet thank you very much and then there we go something like this so we can done editing and every person in this file with an overdue invoice will then receive this email based used with some smart tags will receive this personal email from you automatically so we can set up this connection finish and save there we go you can now see that we have two connections generating emails we have the generic one that actually generates the invoices and shares them to the clients via gmail 
and an extra connection that will filter the data based on only overdue invoices and then generate this reminder email for you. Again, run this workflow to have Shigo recognize any new data in the spreadsheet and then start these processes. Or of course, automate this right here in our schedule settings. If you have lots of invoices, that could be once a day, but even multiple times a day, every hour, for example. You can turn it off for the weekends or on any other dates that you think it's not necessary to run the workflow. Save it right here. And there we go. We now have automated the invoice generation and reminding process to your clients. That's how you automatically share data from Google Sheets to Gmail with Shego. As you can imagine, there's plenty more use cases to use Shego for. So keep an eye on our channel. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more of these automation tips and how to's. Do not forget to like this video if you've enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching.